Hello everyone, it is Briximus Prime back for another Marvel figure review, and today I'm going to be reviewing my first Marvel Selects slash Diamond Selects Toys Taskmaster figure. Sir, a Disney Store exclusive figure. And yeah, I got this figure at my local Disney store that was at the mall. The Disney store was closing down, and so they had a huge clearance on everything, and so I decided to try and get one of these generation one of these not generation selects these marvel selects figures before they sold out because they had like a whole 30 percent off of everything in the store and so i decided to pick up taskmaster because i actually really like this character and i've never owned a taskmaster figure and so here we are and so yeah this is my first figure so all my opinions in here are fresh and new so let's just and i'm not and i'm gonna try to keep my opinions away from marvel legends just keep this on its own so anyway Without further ado, let's just get right on into the review by starting with the packaging. And now taking a look at the packaging. Right up front here, they got a big window showcasing the figure inside. It's got the Disney part Store logo right there in the corner. It's got a nice little printed image, and that's printed on the plastic of Taskmaster right there. It says Marvel, warning, choking hazard. Right here it says Taskmaster, special collector edition action figure. Marvel Select. Here on the side of the box, it's got this cool comic book image of Taskmaster on the side that looks really cool. And then on the back of the box, it's got like a little rundown of the figure and like some information on him and all this cool stuff that we'll be covering inside the review. It says Marvel Diamond Select. As you can see, this figure was $35. I only paid like $25 for this figure. So Marvel Legends price, basically. So really nice. So, anyway, that is basically it for the packaging. Let's just get right on in to the figure. And here are all the accessories that come with the Diamond Select Taskmaster. He comes with quite the plentiful amount of accessories. First off, let's just start with this, just because I want to address something. He does come with these two arrows. Now, he did actually come with three of them, but I lost one of them as soon as I opened up the package, and I still haven't found it yet. So if you want to check my update on if I do end up finding it, just click on my link in the description to my Instagram, and I'll probably post a picture there if I end up finding it. So, But anyway, so it, it the one I lost was just the regular arrow, but right here he does include this little, what I'm assuming is a bomb arrow, and this one is what I'm assuming is a grapple arrow. So very nicely done. They're all painted and sculpted very well. It's cool that he comes with individual arrows. You don't get a lot of figures like that anymore. He does also include an arrow holding hand so this is meant to be the hand that pulls back on the bow and also he has a tiny little slit in between the two fingers which allows you to insert the arrows in between his fingers like that so you can make him hold the arrows when you set him up with the bow which i'll show off here in a second so you do get that bow holding hand and then speaking of the bow here is the bow that comes with Taskmaster. Actually does have string on it, which is bendable and actually very pliable. Got some very nice silver and dark blue paint going all over. Then you got the gold right there for the handle. Very nicely done. Looks like it's got a button on there. You know, for like a secret compartment. And then the string, again, really nice. And you can store that on, on Taskmaster, so very nicely done. He does also come with his little pistol. And I really like the way how this gun looks. Very unique looking. Very much like it. Silver paint. Overall, very nicely molded and sculpted. He does come with a shield. The shield's actually quite big. I like the detail on the straps on the inside. And then the T for Taskmaster on the front with the paint is so clean and fresh looking. And I love the way how it looks. Though I think mine ended up getting a hair in the plastic. Gonna have to scratch that out later, or I don't know, but that is really gross. But anyway, he does also come with a sword, which kind of looks like a sword that came out of Masters of the Universe. Uh, he's got some nice gold handle right there, some nice orange right there, and then silver paint all throughout the all throughout the blade right here, and it looks magnificent. Very nice sword. And then finally, Taskmaster does come with an alternate head. This is my preferred head to put on Taskmaster, but I'm going to be reviewing the figure with the fet, with the head that he comes packaged with. This is a more modern take on Taskmaster's mask. I like this more modern take on it. I like the yellow in the eyes, the white paint, there's the black in the cheekbones right there, and overall, I very much like it, especially with the hood and everything. So, overall, very nice head sculpt. 
getting all these onto the figure himself. So for the sword, I'm sure this one is self-explanatory. You just put the sword inside of the sheath. I'm sure that one is pretty simple to figure out. Next thing that I'm pretty sure is also self-explanatory, gun goes in holster. So that one is pretty easy to figure out. The holster is the only one that has a loose fit and the gun falls out quite easily, so just be aware of that. And then moving up, moving up here, on the back of the figure, he does have one of those little, um, oh, what do you call it? It's a quiver holder, whatever it is, but it's the thing that holds arrows, and there is a hole that does, it got, it's got some arrows molded in there, but it's got a slot where you can plug in the other arrows in there, so that's very nice. And then the bow, I mentioned you could store this on the figure, basically you can just strap it around him. You can make it strapped onto his back. You'll see that better later, but I do. You do just kind of strap it on his back. And then hand, there's not really any place to store that. And then this, you just store it on his arm, which basically you can put that on in two ways. You either can just force it on there like this, or you can remove the hand. You can remove the hand entirely, put slide the shield on, and then you put the hand back on after having the shield in there. Kind of like what you'd do with a Marvel Legends Captain America, getting his shield on there. And then bam, there you got the shield. And then sword you can put in his hand or whatever. You can do whatever. So anyway, that is basically it for all the weapon storage on this guy. And again, you can just strap this on his back. It's just he's just in an improper pose for me to show it off. And here is Diamond Selects Taskmaster. So anyway, let's just get right on into all those up-close details. And here is the Taskmaster. This is the head. This is the comic book accurate head that he comes packaged with. And, uh, I mean, I will give it credit. The painting and sculpting on the skull looks absolutely great. But the eyes in there just look, uh, like very derpy looking. I don't like the way that it looks. I do like the hood, though. The hood looks very nice. But quite obviously, I prefer this head that came packaged with the figure. This is what I've been posing this Taskmaster with. And I haven't actually put this. And to change it out, you just remove the head. And then you just place this one on the ball joint. Now, this is where one of my complaints on the figure comes in. <clears throat> the ball joint that this head rests on is a little bit too small or too loose. So every time I pose it down and try to use the hinge joint in the neck, it starts to loosen up. And then if I try to get him to look up any farther, it comes off. Like this guy cannot look up whatsoever. He can only stare straight on and then look down a little bit and then look from side to side. There's no, we'll get to the articulation in a minute and I'll show you guys off. But if you, that's my problem is that the heads sometimes don't like to go on as they should. So anyway, there is that. But coming down the rest of the figure, I do like the painting on there on the chest. It's got the orange and the white there. The white is painted on there. And I love this leather strap going around. It almost looks like real leather with the texturing and the paintwork and the buckle. Like, everything looks great. He's got the golden chain and buttons kind of holding on his cape. Very nice molded and sculpting for the muscles and everything. He's got the belt, which is done pretty well. <clears throat> I like all the little pouches and everything going around here. Again, the leather work on this figure just looks phenomenal. He's got the white underwear. <laughs> and then he's got the little belts right here around his hips. He's got the white boots. Again, you can really see that leathery texture going all over the figure. I love it. Same thing goes for the gloves and everything. And then same thing goes for the cape as well. Only his, his, his cape's more of a smooth texture and I do like it and then on the inside it is orange very eye-catching orange I have to admit the orange on this figure is very eye-catching and it's like not overbearing like it makes it the design look realistic and not so ridiculous so anyway getting into Taskmaster's articulation as mentioned before if you and this is on both of the heads if you try to hinge the head up any farther than I already showed you the head pops off its ball joint hinge the head can rotate from side to side, 
but it does pop off if you change it too much. And then he can look down a little bit. He does have a full rotation. Actually, let's use the other arm. He uses a he has a full rotation at the shoulder. Shoulder can move up that far. Bicep swivel right there. And then he does get a single bend at the elbow that bends at 90 degrees, which is pretty good, but I would have preferred double jointed. Wrists can rotate. They can this one in particular can hinge up and down with that roll of the dice action because it does have that trigger finger holding hand for the gun, but this also can be used to hold the sword, so it does make for some good sword tipping poses. And then same thing goes for this hand as well as th this hand as well. He does get a diaphragm joint right in there, which does serve as a waist rotation. It does give him an ab crunch. Let me do this side. An ab crunch and an arcing back. And as I mentioned, waist rotation. <clears throat> Hips move outward pretty far, I would say. Though this one does have a bit of a harder time on that side. He can kick forward. He can kick back. He does get an upper thigh cut at that belt thing. Double jointed knees, which bend just like a Marvel Legends. He does get a boot rotation, which is pretty tight. Ankles do move up. They do move down. And he does get some really nice ankle pivot. And then he does have some peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So overall, very, very nice articulation on this Taskmaster. Definitely one of my favorite figures of this year. That's for sure. And now getting into size comparisons. Here is the Diamond Selects Taskmaster with... And here he is for comparisons. Here he is with the Marvel Legends that was at my disposal. Here he is with the Shang-Chi Shang Death Dealer. As you can kind of see, he's a little bit shorter, maybe by like an inch or like half inch. And so I guess you could say Taskmaster sort of scales in. He is a bit more bulky, but this other figure kind of shows you a better example that they are. I mean, kind take of more Marvel's scale. Rage, for example. I reviewed this figure before Death Dealer, and this guy I mentioned was a little bit bigger of a Marvel Legends than some other figures. And this guy scales like perfectly with Taskmaster. This guy's like the same height, same body type, like 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 they and even though these are two separate figures from two separate lines, these two still scale in great together so honestly i could even say that these guys are in scale for marvel legends so really nicely done it's just the problem is it's just hard to see unless you have a figure like rage to kind of show off the scale so anyway that's basically it for comparisons and for my favorite part of the review you can improve this guy's articulation if you introduce a stand oh yeah when getting a stand on this guy who really brings out some great action pack poses. And as I mentioned, here is him holding the bow with that bow holding hand. So you can kind of see what I mean by posing it around. And yes, that arrow is a floating piece. So it is a little bit of work to get it to in that position. But it still is really worth it once you get it looking right. That looks really good. And that is basically it for my review on the Marvel's Selects, or Diamond Selects, Taskmaster. And, oh boy, this figure really, really is high quality. Very good plastic, very nice paint quality, and, oh my goodness, this figure really does shine quite a bit. I mean, obviously he still has his issues, like the bow sometimes is a little hard to fidget with, and he's also got the arrows and stuff that are kind of loose on him but overall even though the head does also pop off a little too a bit too much than i would prefer i still love this thing this thing looks good it feels good it poses great and just oh just overall this figure's just got to be one of my favorites for this year so far i mean come on this figure like I, I'm so happy that I got this guy for how much I did because these figures are expensive and I can really see why. They got so much good paint and detail and just, uh, I, I gotta say it, 9 out of 10. And again, this figure is barely pushing the border between 9 and nine out of 10 and 10 out of 10. My only complaint is the head. I wish the head could look up a lot more than it normally should. 
and that just really bugs it for me because head articulation is one of the biggest parts of posing a figure and so that really bugs me some but anyway that is basically it for my review on the Mar marvel selects taskmaster if you guys enjoyed this review be sure to leave a like on the video and also be sure to leave a comment down below also be sure to let me know what you guys thought of the new thumbnail did you guys like it do you want me to keep doing that red background or did you like the blue the dark blue background uh, but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Marvel action figures and other toy toy reviews. And uh, yeah, I'll, and be sure to check out the links in the description for my second channel and my Instagram for bonus content. And I'll catch you guys next time.